I want to talk to you about uh, this God called Karpasami. I've done many videos and uh, I think it's, it would be useful if I just uh, say one or two things about Karpasami and explain uh, uh, extraordinary <laughs> uh, things that Karpasami can do, which are called miracles. And uh, those people who are familiar uh, with Jesus, you would know that the ministry of Jesus is a miracle ministry, even today. Even today. One occasion that comes to my mind, Jesus was sitting on a rock and a woman comes to draw water from a well. And Jesus wanted some water from that well that she was drawing. She said, I'm a low class person or you are a Jew and a I shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't drink the water that from a, from a woman like me. Jesus woke up uh, from the place where he was sitting and uh, went to her and said, uh, talked about her husband. She lied to Jesus. I, I don't have an husband. No, you have four husbands and you are living as a fifth man or something. She was so surprised. How did Jesus know about all these things about her? This is the best introduction for Karpasami. Karpasami would, uh, uh, would say to people, don't lie to me because I know everything. I don't lie and I don't want people to lie. Okay. And, uh, and I don't uh, let go of people uh, who try to uh, uh, lie and then do things that are uh, unethical. Uh, that is the best introduction uh, that I can give you about Karpasami and how he came on my came to my life. One day <clears throat> I was passing by a small temple of Karpasami and he stopped my car. And I looked at the small temple and then I went in. It was close. And in the evening, the, the, the priest who, who channels Karpasami channeled that Karpasami is none other than Kalki, the 10th author of Vishnu, which I believe he is, because no, no one else can do what Karpasami is doing. And then there are hundreds of people now in Tamil Nadu, if not more, uh, a few hundreds, I would say, are channeling Karpasami when it descends into your body and then you get uh, um, the wisdom of Karpasami because that is uh, for the time period that he lives in your body and he is able to do miracles for other people. And the and uh, Karpasami is popular among villagers and because he likes villagers because they have, they have no money and anyone to help the poor people and our people with, uh, without uh, many resources. That's, uh, that's uh, something about Karpasami that uh, uh, which pulled me to, towards him and uh, and he has done so many uh, miracles 
for me personally. And then, and then uh, I can talk to him at any time I want to. And then, uh, and he gives me uh, all kinds of knowledge, all kinds, of, including science and technology. And uh, how would you know about science and technology? Yes, he does. So I thought that uh, it would be very helpful for us, and especially when he is recognized as the 10th avatar of Vishnu, for people to, to get to know him and use him just to get miracles in uh, your life. And not only you can, you can, you can just get into the bodies of, of people uh, or, or channels, and uh, 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 what do I want to say? Uh, uh, what he is saying right now about uh, how can he help people? He can help you to perform miracles. How? When you develop a personal relationship with him. And to get, to get personal relationship with him is very easy. All that is needed is uh, uh, an identity that you will create with him, that he is another than you and you are another than him, and then that you are honest, you are very sincere in your relationship with Karpasami, and then he can come and, and, and he will lead you. There is no need for you to read, read books and philosophy and other things, mysticism, etc. They are not needed. He is a simple God. He can he can look at your heart, and then immediately uh, he will know that you are the right person through whom he can come through and speak. And uh, in uh, In many ways, Karpasami is like the, uh, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit in every one of us. The Holy Spirit is God within us. It is the, the Holy Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit, but we do not know how to use the Holy Spirit. But once you develop a relationship with the Holy Spirit, then you will have the understanding uh, uh, that uh, the Holy Spirit has, which is uh, an understanding to know about the uh, present, past, future, and to do impossible things. So Karpasami will go and do things uh, and are impossible. You would say that there is no, uh, I want to get you this land, but there was some mistake made that your name was not included. I will go on and correct it. How is it possible? It is possible, and he has done it. Things like that he would do. You know. And if a planet is not doing good things and for you, and then they are hurting you, and he will say, I will go and talk to the planet. The planet is not just a celestial object, uh, uh, but also a, a, a being. And, for, and this is the understanding in, in, in Vedic astrology too, and Siddha astrology as well. So you can go and talk to the uh, or to Saturn and say, Saturn, you have uh, harmed him enough, and please don't give him any more troubles. And then he will negotiate a deal, and then, and then this, well, uh, this person uh, will be relieved. So there are so many things that uh, uh, Karpasami does for you, which reminds me of Jesus' miracle, as uh, uh, he, when he was working with uh, the poor people. Heal and touch and heal people. Even make blind people to see all these things, whatever Jesus has done, 
I mean, for the poor people, Karam Swami has, uh, has been doing. And also, when he, uh, you get to uh, uh, know him, not because you, you have made the uh, initiative to go see him, but he knows everybody and he draws you. No, and after that, then uh, you will get to know him more, and then you will descend into his body. This happened to uh, Sunny Kalkidas, who is also uh, on this uh, program, and he, he is. It's very interesting. His background is. Uh, has nothing to do with Karpaswami, in this lifetime at least. He is a biotech engineer, bioinformatics, you know, very advanced science. And then he came to the US and then he got an MBA. But he was not interested in any of the thing except to uh, learn about miracles and then, and when he had a uh, passion for that and then I, I introduced him to Karpaswami and uh, and Karpaswami was, was very much more pleased with him than other people that I have known, you know, to whom uh, I have uh, given the Karpaswami initiation, <clears throat> which I would give you on the New Year day, because the reason why Karpaswami is important is because he doesn't give lectures, discourses, you know, lectures, I hate lectures myself, you know, it has to be, what do you want? It has to be done. Yeah, that is the bottom line. And that's what Karpasami is. If you are sick, I will heal your sickness. If you don't have money, I'll give you the money. If you don't have relationship, I'll give you a relationship. I know if you have a court case, I will solve the court cases. And then they have never seen a God or a being who feels so happy to solve the problems of, of people who are dedicated to him. But the bottom line, you have to be dedicated to Karpasami. Then he will do anything and everything for you. And I will also teach you on the uh, 13th day uh, 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 things. Uh, after the initiation, I will teach you how you can sustain, uh, you can have a sustained relationship with Karpaswami. And then you know, it's, it's not going to cost much except uh, uh, pure faith and uh, constant engagement with him. And uh, you have to take a few steps, but uh, then he will come on his own. and. Uh, guide you. So there are a few hundred, as I said, few hundred people now available uh, uh, in the, as well as, you know, in Tamil Nadu who can uh, give Karapaswami readings and uh, who Karapaswami gets into their body. Now, with Kalkidas, the uh, Sunny, it's very uh, interesting because he doesn't know, he comes from southern, northern India, where there is no Karpaswami tradition. Uh, although Karpaswami himself is Krishna, you know, that's, uh, 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 that will take a lot of time for me to explain, so let's not get into that. But at least he comes from a tradition uh, where, from northern India, where there is no tradition of Karpaswami. But then he had done Karpaswami work Karpaswami for a long time in, when he was in southern India and by the time I had known him too in that lifetime. So, uh, so it was just only reconnecting with Karpaswami and immediately, uh, he immediately uh, connected with Karpaswami and he did not know the language. Tamil, Karpaswami is only for the Tamils, not even to the neighboring state where they speak uh, other languages. Karpaswami doesn't speak uh, other languages. He speaks only Tamil 
but Kalkidas does not know Tamo, but he started channeling Karpasami and he knows Karpasami what to do and then um, uh, he is a great channel for Karpasami and he lives Karpasami uh, most of the time in, uh, in a given day. And, uh, and he speaks in English. This is the first time that Karpasami speaks English through Karpasami. And I asked him, he asked, will you speak in Hindi too? Yeah, he says, he will give in, speak in Hindi. Because these are the two languages that he knows. So, it, so from that what I understood is, uh, of course, the channel's uh, linguistic uh, knowledge of a particular uh, uh, language is necessary. Uh, and only it, the channeling can happen in that language, uh, which I have uh, verified in other cases too. Uh, so anyway, so he could go, the uh, Karpasami speaks English here. Okay. And, uh, and also Karpasami uh, will, uh, so what I want to do now, let me, since he's also there, uh, and ask him to uh, do whatever he wants to do since he's in touch with Karpasami all the time. So, so, uh, so uh, Sunny, you can do whatever you want to do, Karpasami wants you to do. And, uh, but make sure that you introduce yourself, uh, how you, uh, your uh, relationship with Karpasami and wh how it happened and then, and uh, how you communicate with him or he communicates with you. And then uh, don't forget to add uh, 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 what he wants to do for the people who are now listening to uh, to Karpasami. Now, now you can begin now. Thank you, Dr. Pillai. So let me start off by talking about how I the, got into Karpasami. I, I was in a birthday trip, uh, I believe in 2012. Uh, Dr. Pillai used to do uh, his birthday trips, uh, very powerful pilgrimages in India, and he would take us to different temples. And he has a personal family temple in Rameshwaram, which is the island in southern India where he was born. And he invited uh, a man who was channeling Karpasami to give readings to all the people on the trip. And um, so, I, you know, Karpasami at that time was you know, this channeling through this man, doing miracles, healing people and revealing their problems and blessing them. You could see omniscience in action, omnipotence in action. You know, I mean, not just theoretically, but right there happening. And I was one of the participants and I had no background in Karpasami. Um, I had not honestly never heard of Karpasami or, you know, and um, so I was the last one to get a reading um, in that was about 60 people. And uh, Karpasami was, uh, I was working in a, in, a, in a technology industry at that time um, uh, with my science and technology background, biotech background. And um, Karpasami was uh, telling me about my career and my spiritual life, and suddenly he stopped. And the person who was channeling, he stopped and said, have you uh, prayed to me that um, I should come to you immediately whenever you call? And uh, I was taken aback, you know, I did not expect this. I said, yeah, I think, um, you know, I heard about you some months back and um, from Dr. Pillai and uh, I have called on you. Yeah, I would love for you to come immediately when I call you. He said, uh, if I come to you, can you handle my power? I, said, I don't know what is he talking about. I didn't understand the context of what he was talking about. So I said, uh, yeah, I think I can. He said, are you sure? I said, I think I can, yeah. And um, he said, okay, 
um then from today onwards he gave me like you know he asked me to extend my hand and he slapped on my hand with his hand is like giving a promise done so be it and that kind of thing and then um uh so i was puzzled he said that from now on if you call me i'll be there and um i didn't know so i said what should i do he said just offer me a glass of water every day uh, i said that's it he said yeah that's it just offer me a glass of water every day i said okay um so but then uh, what happened was i was doing it for some time and i had such intense experiences with karpasam uh i got scared honestly um and um i don't know what happened i should have continued worshiping him but i gave up mm, some human foolishness i gave up although i had such a good connection then a couple of years later when i got the opportunity to come and work for dr pillai um dr pillai encouraged me to go and seek out the man who was channeling karpasam who had given me that prediction so again in the same temple at rameshwaram uh there was a statue of karpasami being inaugurated installed and uh, i went there and this man who was channeling karpasami was also there and the, this time uh i offered him a black shawl like a, you know dress material and um karpasami reconnected with the prediction he had given a few years back and he said that um from today onwards uh, i'm going to be with you all the time and the dress the the shawl that i had given him he took it from his body and placed it on my body uh, and said i'm with you from today onwards and i felt when he did that i felt like an uh, like some kind of a air or a wind or some uh, you know kind of a static electricity going through my body and i knew that something has happened and my mind became quiet there was a de greater degree of quietness after that but um i felt his energy but i did not again know how to develop it how to use it because there is no user manual right there is nobody available who will teach you these things Uh, luckily you know at this time i'm working for dr pillai and he is guiding me uh, i have that uh, privilege to get training with him and he then started helping me he said something very important i remember i was traveling uh, in a city in india and he said um karpasami is there in your subconscious mind but it will you have to now bring it to the conscious mind or the conscious awareness so you can use him and uh, that is the training that dr pillai gave me right so he then over a period i think very quickly you know within two or three weeks i was able to really connect and start giving readings to people and um, one day dr pillai called me uh, 6 am in the morning i used to wake up very late at the end those days and uh, i was shocked to see a call from dr pillai and he said from today onwards you will be able to channel karpasami and give readings and uh, in my journey i have often found that if dr pillai you know he has this uh, walk uh, divine speech once he says it it will happen and he just said it from today onwards you'll be and that's what happened you know and i asked him what should i do he said well you know just test it out so there was a chef who was working in the guest house where i was staying and i don't know anything about this uh, chef's family life his background i have no information on him other than the minimum introduction you know conversation on what he's going to cook for me and that kind of thing and i asked him can you get me a lemon and he got me a lemon and i touched the lemon and i said uh, five or six karpa swami showed me in images that this guy is trying to buy a motorcycle and he is unable to buy it and that there is an issue with a, a house in a village which supposed to be an inheritance for him but he is unable to get it and there was one more detail i don't remember now the three or four things like that 
when I said this to him, he was he lit up. He couldn't believe it. He said, "How do you know? How do you know these things about me?" It is. He said, "Yes, I've been uh, wanting to buy this Honda motorbike, uh, but you know the EMI is very expensive. I'm not able to finance it, and uh, there is a, 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 a my uncle's." Uh, uh, you know, my aunt, uh, not, not aunt, my my uncle's wife, she has basic, she is a very rich woman. And she, through her influence uh, and some people she knows, has kind of, uh, is, is blocking me and my family from getting our inheritance. Uh, she has fabricated documents and all this, and we are fighting in the court. But then she, she has very powerful lawyers and we can't afford good lawyers and he, he said, how do you know all these things? And then, you know, through Karpasami, I was able to suggest uh, some remedies for him. So this was my own uh, experience. And then there was another time, uh, now th this was in person. And uh, again, you know, I will just quickly uh, tell you one more incident. Um, there was a man in Dubai. Um, he was an engineer there. And he was facing a lot of challenges at work. And I said to him, this is on Skype, you know, I don't even see, I don't even come on video. And I said, just uh, give me a minute. And I focused on Karpasami and Karpasami showed me his office. And I could tell on which floor he is working uh, and who is sitting across from him. I could see all that. Uh, and I told him why he is not being, why he is being passed over for a promotion what he should do. And this man, you know, he was working with me in a longer program. Within six months, he did get promoted and his reputation in his, uh, among his colleagues changed dramatically. So these are, you know, and, you know, that is back in, uh, I believe, you know, 2014 or 15. Now it's been uh, well over nine, uh, like nine years. So there have been a, a few thousand cases like that, honestly, because um, constantly people seek uh, guidance from Karpasami. And if they can access me, they will get my help. Um, so I'm able to help them. So this is just an idea of what how Karpasami works. One of the things that Karpasami himself told me a couple of times, I want to share with you, which is he said to me that if I focus on him, and if I chant the mantra that Dr. Pillai gave in an initiation, you know, he has given a few mantra over the few mantras over the years. And that is that has been the key. That mantra that he gives, if you can receive it in a live initiation, that is the best uh, to quickly develop a connection with Karpasami. So Karpasami's teaching to me has been: if you focus on me, I will manifest your thoughts. And he said that to me a few times, and I have found out that it is true. If you can focus your mind on him uh, and uh, chant the mantra, and mantra is a device to focus our mind in Karpasami, then, and the, and the prayer, and you make a constant prayer to him. I want you to do this, you know. But let's say you're trying to help someone else, and you say, I want, this should happen for this person, or something for your own, you know, something you want to happen in the near future, and you constantly pray to him. He will not only do it, but he will also give you clarity on how things are going to play out, on what's going to happen in the future, both short-term future and long-term future. So Karpasami is a very, very practical God. And uh, before, uh, you know, I received a training, uh, before this happened, of uh, this uh, incident of the channel giving me uh, the shawl and saying, I'm, Karp I'm with you now, Karpasam is with you. Uh, a year prior to that, Dr. Pillai introduced me to the Holy Spirit. Again, I had no prior uh, background in the Holy Spirit. I knew about Jesus. I didn't know about the Holy Spirit. And... Um, he had been training me in getting the Holy Spirit. I used to get possessed by the Holy Spirit uh, for hours together. It was difficult for me to even, I used to ask him to go and let me live my hum, normal human mind uh, because the Holy Spirit is supernatural, just like Karpasami. And the similarities are, they are very identical in their function, in their nature. If 
for example um, the holy spirit is uh, symbolized as a cloud uh, um, whereas if you look at karpasami neela megam karpasami the blue cloud karpasami karpasami is the blue cloud you know is the cloud which is full of water and it showers and rain is a symbol of mercy and again rain is also a symbol of the holy spirit and uh, karpasami is called the wind katru karpas katru karpar that's one of his names and the holy spirit also comes as the wind numa the breath so these are all you know not only in the sim the symbols are same the function and powers are identical so i guess it's just different tradition um, talking about the same power of god but in different language different uh, even the, i mean the symbols are same i guess the language and names are different so now i will just make a prayer for all of you uh, and then after that i will tell you what we what i am going to share in this program with all of you so just look at these two swords you see these swords there is a small sword and a larger sword just look at either of the swords and make a prayer to karpasami right now as you are looking at the swords the sword represents karpasami and there is a secret about the swords also that i that i learned from dr billai that i am going to share with you uh, in the program just look at the swords and make your prayer om karpasami namaha om karpasami namaha om karpasami namaha and that's it you don't have to pray anymore you know you just pray for a minute and no need to pray for multiple times no need to keep on repeating your prayer just with complete body mind and soul focus focus is very important you look at the sword and you pray this is a technique this is a secret technique just get a picture of this sword you can take a screenshot or there are images it's called aruval a r u v a l you can get this on google just print out a picture of a sword like this karpasami sword and focus on the sword and pray to the sword and the sword represents karpasami it's just like muruga's veil muruga's spear is worshiped as muruga this sword of karpasami is worshiped as karpasami so when you look at the sword and you pray to the sword it will go directly to karpasami okay now i just want to share what i will do in the two the sort of once we receive the mantra and initiation from dr pille that's very important because that is how it all begins okay I, in my case although the channel you know in 2012 told me that karpasam will be with me i couldn't it didn't work i didn't know you know how to activate it you know so you need to be you need to be blessed by the teacher uh and dr pillai's uh, blessings is what helped me to really figure out how to work with karpasami and consciously build a relationship with him and interact with him so dr pillai will teach um on uh, the mantra he is going to initiate us and he will also give training on how to engage with karpasami how you can maintain the karpasami consciousness and that is the beautiful you know that is the most important thing so once we get that uh, initiation from dr pillai there'll be two activation sessions with him so what is the difference once you are initiation initiation means beginning you are connected with karpasami by dr pillai's uh, blessing strong blessings and then i will help you to take what he has taught and how you can experience karpasami more so in both the activation sessions our focus is going to be how can we feel the energy of karpasami in our body how can we take dr pillai's teachings on how to talk with her what are the secrets of how to communicate with karpasami i am dr pillai has given me so many secrets which i have tested in my life and with others i'll be sharing those secrets with you so that you can on your own develop your personal communication channel with karpasami and that is how you can accomplish things which you are not able to deal with 
there is karma there are whether it's relationship or money or career or health there are difficult areas that you are unable to do anything in despite your best efforts that is where karpa sami can give you relief can give his divine intervention he loves i mean i know i have not seen any god who solves uh, as many problems for as many people uh, like karpa sami so that's all i wanted to share today and i hope that i can meet some of you um, uh, in the, in the initiation and the activation sessions and we can go deep uh, into experiencing the miracles of karpa sami together Perfect. Thank you so much, Kalkidas. <clears throat> and thank you to Dr. Pillai. So I'm going to just give you a summary of everything that's happening at Pillai Center uh, with Karpasami for you to be involved. So first of all, there is a Karpasami International Forum, which is absolutely complimentary for you to join. The link is below this video. So I'm seeing a lot of questions in chat of what do I do and how do I go? How do I? So Sunny just um, gave you a technique. Um, but if you join this Karpasami uh, Forum, there's a way for you to share your prayers and also um, be supported by the community. So that link is below the video. There's the initiation that Dr. Pai will be giving on the Vedic New Year, which is April 13th. As Dr. Pai mentioned, he'll be giving a mantra initiation <clears throat> into the miracle mind of Karpasami and um, some techniques. And then there are two follow-on sessions with Sunny, what we just heard, activation sessions for his expertise. Um, and there's also remedies or rituals being performed in India. Dr. Pillai commissioned 1,008 pujas to be performed throughout India for Karpasami, and they are happening on the Vedic New Year. So between the April 13th and 14th, depending on where you are in the world, that's when the sun moves into Aries and is considered the astrological New Year, or Dr. Pillai calls the real New Year. Um, so those ceremonies are being performed. So you could sponsor those ceremonies. Um, with the teaching with Dr. Pai or separately, if you just want to do the ceremonies and rituals. So though, uh, oh, and then also if you're interested in having a direct message from Karpasami with Kalkidas, uh, he has a channeling program that you're able to participate in. So um, all of those details are below the video. So again, just the International Karpasami Forum, which you are uh, absolutely free to join the initiation with Dr. Pillai on the Vedic New Year, April 13th, the remedies or rituals that are also happening on the Vedic New Year, April 13th and 14th, and then uh, channeling with Kalkidas, who you just heard from, um, where you will receive a message from Karpasami uh, to you. So um, we hope that that is sufficient for you to get started in your path and or continue on your path with connecting to Karpasami. We thank Dr. Pillai for his wisdom and presence and thank Kalkidas Siddhar for his um, <clears throat> experiences and also the technique. So printing out the picture of the sword, the Karpasami sword, looking at it and saying your prayers and doing that quickly and receiving the blessing. So we'll see you soon. We wish you an absolutely amazing week and a happy Vedic New Year. Namaste.